at about the age of 13 or 14 years old, um, I realized that this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to go into astronomy. Being from the Free State, where the skies are for most parts extremely dark, I was always curious about the different colors stars seem to have. And others seemed to tinkle and others didn't and I wanted to know more. I was a very curious little child and um, I basically I just wanted to know about space and the universe and just how the world worked. I've been staying here in Cape Town for the past four years. Um, this is also where I discovered my other passion for salsa dancing. I've been doing salsa now for about three years, a little over three years, and um, I'm absolutely in love with it. So I spend most of my time, I basically divide my time between my research studies and um, salsa dancing. When I first started telling people that I wanted to do astronomy, it um, was difficult at times. Um, people used to say to my parents that they shouldn't let me pursue this because it seems crazy. They should rather let me do um, a more bankable degree, you know, a degree that's uh, going to definitely lead to me getting a good job like a BCom or something like that. Old white men are scientists, not young black women, not young black men, not young Indian women, not young Chinese men. It's usually, you know, um, scientists, when you think of you think of them with like, you know, this, the Einstein crazy hair. And these are the kind of people that you think should be allowed to do science. But science is for everyone. So the SKA project is, is not just about studying the universe. It's also about empowering um, African scientists to, to build up uh, uh, astronomy and physics and, and high technology. Um, uh, research at their universities. I do photometry using the shock CCD, that's the Sutherland High Speed Optical Camera. And um, I generally observe uh, cataclysmic variables. These are um, interacting binary stars. They um, consist of two stars practically orbiting about a, a center of mass. Or, I mean, you could also equate it to kind of dancing around each other. So they're, they're very interesting um, targets to, to look at because, um, they, because of the accretion that takes place. Astronomers are very interested in the secretion because accretion takes place on all scales uh, across the universe. And so we can study this and um, find out more about how um, the rest of the universe works. It's phenomenal to see all the young, bright kids um, making a career for themselves, doing doing a PhD, both here but also with colleagues overseas. They go to the Netherlands, they go to Australia to study and they get jobs there and, and they come back here again, which is great. We also want, we want to keep the bright young kids also in South Africa and in effect a lot of the people come back and get jobs here. That's a, it's a real change and it changes the field completely. It's, uh, it's great. I, I stayed focused. You know, I knew what I wanted to do. I went for it. Um, it's, been, it's been a great journey. I'm, I'm doing what I love to do. If a young person wanted to pursue the career that I'm in, it's now extremely easy in, in South Africa. The government is investing a lot in astronomy with the SKA and SALT and all these other institutes out there. You need to have a passion for it and drive. You need to be curious, you want to know more, um, have a curious mind. Be willing to work hard. <laughs> uh, anybody can do it. You don't have to be a special breed to be able to do astronomy.